Good day everyone, I'm Billy Seifert, the Chief Operating Officer of Moonstone Compliance. As many of you know, we launched our Employment Law Service in August, adding a further dimension to our suite of services. This service is headed up by Andrea de Jong, who is also responsible for our Privacy Governance Service and is well known to our regular webinar attendees. Similar to what we do in the Privacy Governance Service, we aim to host a series of informative webinars on relevant topics and developments in employment law as a regular feature going forward. As always, our webinars will be accredited for CPD hours for our financial services clients to ensure maximum value for attendees. I'm very excited to announce that the first employment law webinar will be taking place on Wednesday, the 5th of October. For this webinar, we have once again teamed up with the expert of Weber Wenzel's Labour Law and Health and Safety Department. We are very proud to have Joni van Vieren, a senior associate in that department, joining us as a guest speaker. Joni will be presenting on the recently published Code of Good Practice on the Prevention and Elimination of Harassment in the Workplace. Many employers are completely unaware of the fact that this code seeks to eliminate all forms of workplace harassment. It is not focused only on sexual or racial harassment. Employers are unaware of the onerous duties and obligations the code places on them, especially the requirement to conduct a fair and unbiased investigation. Joni will be unpacking all these requirements and positioning them in an understandable fashion. We believe that no business owner or HR manager should miss this session. Debarments is still one of the most frequently spoken about labour matters in financial services. Over the years, we've seen a number of legislative changes, we've seen guidance notes, and we see that nearly all the financial services tribunal determinations deal with debarments. Although guidance notes and standard operating procedures have done much to address the procedural requirements around debarments, one of the most common questions we still face is, should we debar this person? In the second part of our webinar, Andrea will deal specifically with this point by considering all the relevant factors, such as the substantive and procedural fairness requirements of the Labor Relations Act, phase and the Financial Sector Regulation Act. She will help you understand the process you should follow and the important questions you should ask yourself at each step thereof to prevent initiating unnecessary and unjustified debarment hearing and saving you time and money. I think you'll agree that the topics are very relevant and attending the webinar will certainly be a morning well spent. We look forward to seeing you in the webinar.